Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I have something special for you because I'm actually not just coming from poodlestock.co.uk, I'm also coming from poodlesjewelry.com. Um, hence this stuff here. And for those of you who are on my Facebook page, you know that I've recently joined South Hill Designs um, to, it, to run alongside my regular business with Stampin' Up. Um, so on a Sunday, every Sunday every week, I will be bringing you a slightly different project. It will be a jewellery project, but South Hill Designs is a locket company where you, you take an empty locket and you fill it with all the, the charms and what have you. Um, but I'm taking it a slightly little bit different because actually I do want to convert, you know, to join it in with my paper craft business. So if you hang on to the end of the video, which hopefully shouldn't be too long, um, you will see a card that I've made that was inspired by this project uh, because I did, I whipped it up in advance. And then you will be able to go over to my Poodles blog to see the card and you can go to my Poodles jewellery blog to see this in close-up detail. So I've got a piece of white paper on here so that I know how far to zoom in um, and I'm just going to move that off the way and my zoom is so slow. Let's focus you. There you go. So South Hill Designs, the first thing is it's essentially it is a floating locket company and what that means is that you have a locket that is empty and you fill it with whatever it is you want to go inside. So they all come with, um, you know, it comes with a standard chain. They're all nickel free. There are a few that do have nickel in, but you know, you can find details on my blog. But this one is called the Midnight Silver Locket. So it's not gonna show up very well, but there are black crystals all the way around. Dead simple, you choose the charms that you want to go inside that reflect maybe something in your life that's happening. And so on South Hill Sunday, which is what I'm going to call this, I'm going to be pushing into my charms e or into my lockets each week something that's happened to me or something to do with what's happened with me over this past week. So it's got, oh, that's so not going to focus. Let's try and focus that. There is a tiny little clasp, there you go, and it's highly magnetised. Now, I have long nails, and I grip that top bit there, put my thumb under that tiny little notch, if I twist it, you can just see it there, and it pops open, and there are two really tiny, but stupidly powerful magnets there, and a little clasp, so it closes and clicks, and it's not going to open. So you simply open it up like that, and it would have helped if I'd have opened my charm box. Let's zoom you back in. Oh, the focus is just rubbish, isn't it? Let's try that again. There you go. I'm not used to doing close-up work. Um, so I'm going to use my tweezers. That's only because I've got, you know, you, you just wouldn't see if I was sticking my fingers in it. So I'm going to use the tweezers. But I promise you, you absolutely can just use your fingers and stick them here. So... First thing is I've got a screen. You don't have to have this. I kind of like this because it's a bit flowery and in my poodle's life I've been doing lots of floral cards this week. So that's why that one's going in there. Um, I had a bit of a day on Monday. Um, I think it was Monday, maybe it was Tuesday when um, I announced on my Facebook, on my personal profile that it was a big coffee cup day. So I've got a coffee can going in there, and that's because I have a big thermos flask that holds two pints of coffee, which is four mugs of coffee. And that's meant to last me all day, and I got through it really quite quickly. So I've got this lovely little charm here, which is a coffee cup. I think it's meant to be Starbucks, but, you know, it's really cute. So that was kind of one day of the week. I was buzzing by the end of the week. It was a very funny way, funny day. Um, and then another day in the week, we went over to see my mum and dad. I took the, um, the children on Tuesday, that was uh, mum's bought a new caravan she put that on my facebook page while we were away the other week and it arrived and while we were in the garden chatting afterwards the tiniest ladybird came down and landed on oliver and he's only three and he didn't have a clue what this thing was he didn't know whether to be frightened or scared or happy and oh <laughs> just fired that oh my goodness that's just let like... look see you can pick them up with your fingers no problem um, it's just so adorable. So that's Tuesday. That's Oliver. Um, what else have I got in here? I have got, I've got a, the dog bone. How cute is that? It's got little Swarovski crystals all over it. And that's because my neighbour this side has got a lovely dog, Poppy, which barks a lot. But my neighbour this side, she's also bought a dog because I heard her in the garden the other day. I was sat outside there with the boys and I could hear her chatting to this puppy, which is so cute. I loved it. Um, I'm not a dog person. Was, you know, can you imagine adding a dog into the mix in my house with four children? It's not going to happen. But it was just so lovely hearing her. Um, and she's such a lovely neighbour. Um, 
She'd only been in, only been a neighbour for a couple of months, um, and it was just lovely hearing a chat away to this puppy. So that's that's my puppy. I think that was Wednesday. Thursday, I've got the hair dryer. Um, that's because I was meant to have my hair done on Tuesday, but I didn't realise. Went to the hairdressers on Wednesday, and they went, "Yeah, your appointment was yesterday." I'm like, "No, no, I need an appointment quick." And so they very kindly fitted me in on Thursday, and it just, it was, you know, it was just that kind of week. Probably the overdosing on coffee earlier helped. So that's my little, my little hair dryer. And then today is Sunday, and actually I'm filming this on Friday. I'm not filming it at all. Yes, I am filming it. I lost the days of the week. Kind of ahead of time, and actually I've been wearing this all week. But Saturday, I presented to... 350, 400 Stampin' Up! demonstrators um, at our regional event, something I've never done before. So I chose the megaphone. I didn't use a megaphone, I had a microphone. Um, but that was a ri That was... <laughs> don't use the tweezers. That was just such a, you know, a landmark part in my life. I have never done anything like that before. Thank you very much Stampin' Up! for giving me that opportunity. Um, at this point in time, filming it before I've done it, yeah, I'm slightly freaked out. If I come back and look at this video after I've done it, I'm sure I was fine. So the megaphone is to represent the fact that I'm presenting. Um, so I've got a bit of a mix in there. I've got some pinks, I've got a red, and I've got a little bit of green. And I'm a real rainbow girl. I if I love rainbows. No rain? You can't get a rainbow without some rain. So I have got... I'm going to have to stick my fingers in these to bring them out. So I've chosen... These are the birthstone... Um, colours. I have to confess I don't really know birthstone colours or anything like that. Oh I'm sorry look you can see my burn. I burnt my arm really badly. Yeah I couldn't find the flame in there that would have been ideal. But I've chosen the ones which are red, orange, yellow, uh, sorry red, red, orange, yellow, green, blue and pink. And I'm really, I'm really sorry I don't know which ones they are so I'm going to pick them up one by one and pop them in there and Feed all of those in there, and if you just wait a second, I will bring out the card that this that this project inspired. But actually, I wore this, I built this because I wanted to, you know, try. And I was looking at the chance, thinking, oh yeah, I did that this week, and oh yeah, that would be good. So I built this and I wore it um, when I went off to have my nails done, and the uh, my nail technician, because she paints my nails every couple of weeks for me, she couldn't take her eyes off it. She loved it, and. Although it kind of looks all jumbled up in there, um, again, if you're on my Facebook page, you will have, you will have seen me say um, that my five-year-old son, the first day I wore one of these, I'd put all sorts of bits in to represent me as a makeup artist, and he looked at it and stared at it, and he went, Mummy, what's that? It's like treasure in there. And it was just, oh my goodness, what a heart-melting moment. But he couldn't take his eyes off it, and Carrie and Amy couldn't take their eyes off it either. And, yeah, we loved it. It was just so good. So it's all jumbled up in there, but those, that's my week. That is, that's what happened to me. I overdosed on coffee. I missed my hairdressing appointment. Oliver discovered um, ladybirds for the first time in his life. My next door neighbour's got the cutest dog, and it was just adorable. And I presented in front of an awful lot of people. Yeah, okay. I'm inhaling sharply at the thought of doing that anyway. But the card that came out of this, I couldn't find a hairdresser stamp or anything like that. So I went with something that I absolutely love, and that's flowers. I love these, I love these flowers, and I love the Stampin' Up! Regals collection. And so this is to represent those colours in there, and the flower in the back, and create, because I created this. That's unique to me. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Don't, don't forget to go to poodles.co.uk to find this, and poodlesjewellery.com because I am international to find out more about South Hill Designs. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. And I shall see you for South Hill Sunday on Sunday next week, but Poodles Monday, Wednesday, yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Bye.